it roads like this the rest of the way or something. Yeah, we're done with freeway till Ben, until we get to Blockbuster. Hour into the trip, somebody's already passed out. Thank God it's not that guy. It's this guy. Street, home of the last blockbuster coming up, and there it is. Oh, blockbuster, we have arrived. Blockbuster, oh, oh, are they open? Oh, oh, they are open. Oh, yeah! Wow, look at that! Look at that! Look at that! Look at that! Wow, behind the scenes. So, we just pulled up. At the last Blockbuster video. The one and only. We're out in front right here. There's the door. Only took us what? Going like 17 hours? Yeah, it's uh, we're about what about 900 miles from home or something like that? Like 900, pretty far. Still over 900, yeah. Wow, we're pretty far from home, but mm -hmm. we're gonna go inside and check it out now. But uh, first let's take a look around on the outside and look at some of the signs and stuff they got out here. Let's do it. At the last blockbuster. Behind the scenes. Behind the scenes. Behind the scenes. <laughs> you ready? Oh, it's happening. Oh, he's talking to himself over he's there. Talking. Behind the yeah. scenes. So let's head on in to this blockbuster. Let's go oh. follow this guy. Let me show you guys. And that guy. Going the wrong, going oh. the wrong way. Exit only. Wrong way. Oh, we, if you wanted to ask, uh, where are YouTube uh, loggers or whatever? Are you out there? See a little bit in here? Yeah, yeah, just a lot of us. Oh, no, of course not. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, thanks guys. Just wanted to. Nothing you got those. Thank you. Love you. What you doing, bro? I'm getting some behind the scenes feeling. You are? Yeah. Dude, behind the scenes. Movies on Buster on the planet behind the scenes. It's the next day. I'm trying to squeeze out as many videos as I can as I'm out here in Oregon. I don't know when I'm going to be out here again. So we're going to be, I'm here with a couple of friends of mine. I'm going to see if we can hit up a couple of uh, you know, places around here. I'm here with my homeboy, the OGP. 
Who and, the, uh, who the fuck are you hanging out with? The Fluffy Gamer. Oh. And, uh, like I said, we're in Oregon right now, and, uh, and my camera just died. Huh. Something weird going on out here, because my camera zoomed all the way in, and I can't fucking get it to zoom out. See? That only happens on behind the scene video. Behind the scenes. Mm. Okay, so, uh, we, um, we survived the last blockbuster. We did. Fluffy's got the behind us. There is no blockbuster in Alaska. Oh, no, no blockbuster in Alaska and no blockbuster in Australia anymore. But now we're over here at the FYE. We're going to go take a look and then we're going to head up to Astoria, Oregon <gasps> to the Goondocks. Ooh. Oh. 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 Uh oh, we're going to be in here for a while. We might miss no, Astoria. No, no, I won't do that to you. Yep, we might miss Astoria. I got one item inside there. The other two, they're still in there. But let me show you what I got. For $22, it was on sale. It's brand new sealed. And that is the Blu-ray Steelbook of Trick or Treat. It was originally $29.99. Goes for about $35. Bucks. Brand new sealed Steelbook. It used to be like 100 bucks or 90 bucks like a couple years back, you know, the Blu-ray. But uh thought it'd be cool to have the steelbook version. But uh yeah, that's what I got. These fuckers are hoarding up in there. Or at least OGP is. Hopefully we're not here for too long because we're supposed to go to Astoria, Oregon. Behind the scenes. Alright guys, so we stopped off over here at a Barnes and Noble, trying to look at some of the criterions. You thinking about getting something? Because I heard it may be going out of print. <gasps> don't you already have two copies? Well, one I have to send back. It's all fucked up. Oh, okay. I don't want to... Even if I was going to resell it, I don't want to, like, do all... Send up... Send fucked up stuff. So they got to sell for 50% off on all the criterion. So you're asking 124 bucks. So that's about $62. Mm. I might have to get me a copy, too. Behind the scenes. All right, folks. We are approaching Astoria, Oregon. You excited? I'm excited. You excited? I'm very excited. I'm very excited. I'm very excited too. Astoria. We are in Astoria, Oregon. We're in now. Goonies. We're back in Oregon. 1985. Is this, is this considered this, the Goondocks right here? This is the Goondocks. This is the Goondocks. Yeah. So, uh, so what were you saying about this street right over here? Over here, we have the Flava House. That's where the dad works at the museum. Yeah, the big house. Right here. Yeah, and at the beginning of the movie, when everybody takes off, they're on their bikes going down this street, and they head down that way, yeah. going to the they go that way to the Fratellis. Oh, the Fratellis, that's going that now that way. Yep, okay. going that way. But for now, we're at the jailhouse. We're gonna go break out. Oh, we're gonna we're gonna go break the, one of the Fratellis out of jail. Let's go get him. Let's go get him. Behind the scenes. For three? Right. Yeah. Together. You guys are going to get started down the left hand side. It's labeled Jail Interior. That's where the very first scene of the movie, The Goonies, was filmed. You're welcome to take pictures down there. We have props and memorabilia, a mugshot station, and an exhibit about the history of this building. Well, we just made it into the museum right now. Let's walk around and see what we see. Here's the first cell. Got some memorabilia up in here. Memorabilia. Then over here, what's in this one? Uh oh. Did somebody just escape from jail? I think this is what he used to make that cop think that he killed himself. You schmuck. Do you really think I'd be stupid enough to kill myself? Kill myself. Dude, that bit is costume, his little like, you know, gadget pack and glove and everything, and his little bike. Is that, is that, is that, is that the spring you stuff? I, it must be. It must be, that, that, that's, that, that's Data's outfit, man. Dude, how dope is that shit? Yeah, that's pretty cool. That's pretty fucking rad. Here on the left hand side of the jail where it says jail interior. 
I guess these are all the movies that were filmed up here in Astoria. Did I didn't know that. Did not know that. Definitely knew that. When you're done filming, you can step into mm -hmm. our um, screening True. room, view your movies, yes. and you mail them out. And I believe this is the only place you can order this documentary or buy this documentary. I have a copy. Of course, you got Kindergarten Cop. Just busted out of this son of a bitch. Dead ass. Oh. Dead ass. They're fluffy, fluffy being a perv. Behind the scenes. Fluffy pervert. Yeah. Mm. Wet yeah. one's still inside. Yeah. Fuck. In He's camp. spending some yeah. money up in there. Uh oh. He got boxes. Somebody just busted out of jail. He got boxes. And he's got some oh, souvenirs. Shit. Uh, shit. Oh shit. You better run. They're gonna catch him. They're gonna catch him. Comes Next to the jailhouse is the where the dad, Mr. Walsh, works at this Flava house. Flavel house. And you see the dad with the flag, get, put, put, taking the flag down, as the kids are riding their bikes down here and make a right going on to their journey. Right there. Huh. All right, here's the infamous bowling alley where Chunk was hanging out, playing some video games. He had a shake and a pizza. And right at this window right here is where he was at. Where he smashed his soda or his oh. milkshake and his pizza. Nice. Oh wow, a police chase! So here's, I get it now, okay? So when Chuck comes running up, his hands are up higher because look, the floor is up there. So oh, inside yeah. it is like a yeah. full window. Yeah. Okay. That's, so that's the window where he ran up to. Not that one? This one right here. That one right here. Yeah. That's the window. How many people knew that this scene was a bowling alley where they filmed this? Yeah, let us know in the comments. Did you know it was a bowling alley? I don't remember when I watched it. Yeah. I don't remember when I learned it was a bowling alley. Yeah, me neither. You see, the, you see the arches for McDonald's? Yeah. They did not want to pay to have the sign in there, so they what they did was they had Chunk on the window with his hand blocking the arches. Oh, that's hilarious. But if you watch closely, you can still see the arches. Oh, that's funny. Yeah, so let's go inside. Columbia Bowling Alley. The cool ones go. Here we are inside the bowling alley. And there, oh, there's 12 bowling lanes inside wow. here. If you didn't know, it was a bowling alley. Chunk was over here playing the video game. And then something caught his attention outside. There's where he witnessed right here the police chase. Looks like they cleaned the window since they made that movie. It's nice and clean. How he's being chased by the police. Straight and right down the street right over here where he smashes pizza up and stuff right up against this window. So, kind of surreal uh, to, to be here. Right. To, to see this stuff, dude. At the corner of 8th and Marine Drive. Yeah. I like how they have a painting over here of that, uh, that iconic opening scene when you first see him uh, for the first time. And just right over here is where it happened, where he looked out. And I was told by Fluffy, how you see, guys, have you guys, how you guys can see the arches back there of uh, McDonald's? I don't know if you can see it off in the background. Trump was supposed to put his hand up right here and try to cover it so you can't see it in the movie, so they won't have to, like, you know, uh, use that image uh, in Warner Brothers film. But really rad, really cool. The location of what used to be the John Warren football field. They used to have the stadium seats over here, which had been torn down. Football field is gone. We're standing on pretty much on the spot where when the movie starts, you know, they're doing practicing, cheerleading, trying to do the victory pyramid and whatnot. But over here, yeah. we got some behind the scenes stuff. Uh oh. Yeah. Look at, look at, look at. The look, wet one. Look, oh, my I've bad. zoomed in. The sexy yep. one. The sexy one. Over there. Yeah, he's getting his shot in for this area. And uh, yeah, behind the scenes. And we came across some deers just chilling, walking around Astoria, Oregon. Are those mouse pets? You, Does uh, he own deers? Do you think Corey Feldman owned deers in that That movie? top window on the left, that's where the kitchen is. Are we talking about this brown house? Yeah, that's the mouse house right there. So let me see if I got this right. 
So in the movie, the cops are coming from down here. And they come this way, turn on this street, go down there. Yep. Okay. That is but correct. But while that happens, as they go by, this is Matt's house. And so he's inside the house. And the view would be from that corner window, like from their kitchen. And he's looking out the window at the cops going by. Exactly. And the dad's saying... Turn the TV yeah, off or whatever because yeah. he thinks it's. He on can't the hear himself think. Ah, uh, okay, okay. Have to watch. Let's see that scene right there. Oh yeah. Another celebrity sighting here. The wet one. <laughs> We're at the last Goonies location of the day. Ikla Cannon Beach. Cannon Beach. Cannon Beach. This is where the Fratellis stop. Right over here. Right before the beach, the sand. And the mom says, put it in the four wheel drive, boys. So right here is where the Jeep would have stopped. Stopped right here. Yeah, stopped right here. You see this wall? And then when they leave, you see them driving this way and you see that big rock in the mountain in the background. So we were trying to get to the Eco Estate Park, which is right up here at the top of the mountain. Uh, let's see. We're right about up there, and when you're up there, you get a nice view of down here and a big rock. And if you're lucky, the wet one. What's up? Probably won't be able to see him, but he's here today. I'm cold as fuck. In front of the red, big, the big rock. Yeah. How dope is that? Come on, bro. It looks so much. It looks so much cooler in person. I can't lie. I can't lie. This does look a lot, a lot cooler in person. Hell yeah. Yeah. I'm excited. Yeah? Hey, you guys. Are you excited? I'm so excited. You're so excited. I'm so excited. You're so excited. Ugh. <laughs> so that's going to do it for this uh, uh, Goonies adventure. Oh. This is the last spot. Are you sure we're not going to try? Three well, behind the scenes? Pretty sure it's probably going to be the last spot. So, that said, that that's the end of this behind the scenes feature. Make sure to check out the several videos he's making out here, out and about in Oregon, and his videos. Her, men, her, her, Google Hunters. Her, 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 Make sure to check out their videos. As for this one, this one is over with. Bye bye. All right, guys. It's another day, and we're at another filming location of a movie that came out in 1986. There's a scene back here, trying to shoot cans back here until they got caught and had to run away that way. Yeah. What movie was it? What movie was that? That would have been the classic Stand By Me with Mr. Will Wheaton. Corey Feldman and what's the other kid's name? I always forget the fat one. I always forget Jerry Connor O'Connor. I think that's what it is. Yeah, I don't, I don't remember his name. We're in Brownsville, Oregon, right now. This is pretty cool. This is pretty it's a cool. pretty small town. Yeah, yeah, it's been yeah. a long time since I've seen the movie, but yeah. pretty cool to check it out. Yeah, pretty cool to check it out. That's the coolest thing about going to filming locations or watching videos like this really inspires you to put back on that movie then it brings back all kinds of different old memories. Mm -hmm. So yeah, this is awesome, especially being able to see where they were and how it's changed because there, there used to be a window, now it's all bricked in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So very cool stuff. Yeah, they were hanging out right there. Yeah. This is behind the scenes. Pretty sure this, this church is also in the film. I could be wrong. It's been a long time, but it does look familiar. behind the scenes and look at that we're over at Gordy's house it looks a little different these days sure does sure does sure does but that's in fact Gordy's house like literally around the corner from that little town we were just at yeah like literally two minutes I'm gonna have to but the side of the house looks a lot more noticeable yeah definitely the side of the house that looks familiar yep 
do 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 we had another location, filming location, from the Stand By Me movie. Going on a little hike out in the wilderness, behind the scenes. There it is, right here. Another filming location from Stand By Me. This used to be a train track, but not anymore. Yeah. Yeah, I was gonna say, I, I, I thought this trail, you could see it alongside of the road way back as we were driving up, coming down, and obviously going way over there. I was like, that trail looks like a train track, but uh, you know, because it's right next to the road and elevated stuff like a train track would be. So, not surprising to find out this is no longer train tracks here. Behind the scenes. Whoa, are you filming Oregon. me filming you? No, I am not filming you. Oh. Yes, I am. Oh, okay, you son of a bitch. Behind the scenes. Yeah, behind the scenes. <laughs> That's it, man. Oh, shit. Had a lot of fun checking out these places, hanging out with uh, Buffy Gamer and the wet one, son. Fucking skin uh, it. Yeah. I don't skin know it. what you're talking about. Put but your hand out. Skin it. Man on man contact is not skin my it. cup of tea here. But anyways. Boom, ba, ba, boom, ba, ba, boom, ba, ba, boom. Yeah. Okay. I'm taking his word for whatever the fuck he's talking about. Lard ass. Thank you guys for watching. And Behind the scenes. You know, make sure you like, Yeah, that motherfucker passed.